Hey guys, it's Jeff. Uh, welcome back to another video. What I want to do today is I want to walk through my 1983 JCM 800. This is a 2210 model. Um, so that means it's the two channel model with 100 watts. Um, this one actually has working reverb, so you'll hear some of that as well. A lot of them out there these days don't, and they say just to junk the unit if it's not um, actually working these days. So, um, but, and that meaning the reverb unit, not the head. Um, so what I want to do is I want to walk through the clean channel. Um, this thing surprisingly has a very good clean channel in it. Um, it's a little hard to keep it clean because it likes to break up a lot, but once it's there, you kind of dial it the right way. It's definitely there. And then what I want to do is also, um, do a lead channel or the boost channel as it's called. Um, just natural and then with a boost pedal which is an Ibanez tube screamer plugged into the front of it um, so you can kind of hear the differences that I'm getting with it um, so my settings are for the clean channel are the bass and the treble and the volume are your three um, controls for that the bass is on about eight just a little bit under that maybe and then the treble is pretty much dimed I want to keep it pretty bright especially because I'm not um, playing super loud in my condo here um, if I was playing a lot louder, I would probably roll that back a little bit more. And then the channel volume is at about six. So it is breaking up just a tiny bit while keeping it kind of glassy there. So let's kind of walk through, um, what those sound like. And the guitar I'm using today is a 1991 Les Paul Custom. I believe the color is a honey burst. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm not hundred percent. That's what I was told it was when I bought it. So. Um, so let's check out that tone. We'll do some chords, maybe a couple of runs and things like that and the different pickups as well. So here's what that sounds like. So you can hear that that's actually a very surprising clean tone. A lot of people complain about this amp because they think the 2203 and the 2204 models were the, the holy grails, and they are, they're definitely great amps. Um, but they don't like this one as much because of how um, low end heavy the amp is. Um, it's got a ton of just low end frequencies built in naturally into it. So it's hard to get it to brighten up. And um, I personally think that that's a great clean tone. Um, again, bass around eight, treble dimed, and the volume around six. Um, and my reverb is probably about noon on the control, maybe around five or so for a number on there. And my master is just about two um, or at nine o'clock on the clock face. And I got the overall presence at an eight as well. So now let's do a... Um, Let's do a walkthrough of the boost channel without any boost um, applied to it from the tube screamer. And the quick setting walkthrough on that is I have the bass at just under two. Um, again, very low end heavy, so I'm trying to keep a lot of that out of there. The mid range is just above the seven. Um, the treble is at about an eight, eight and a half maybe, almost nine. And I have the volume and the gain for that channel dimed 100% all the way up. Because um, I'm a shredder. I like gain. What can I say? Um, and having both of those all the way up just maximizes what this amp brings out. Um, I also, maybe if I was turned up a little bit more, I would probably dial both of those back just a little bit so that um, it doesn't get as muddy. Uh, but let's hear what that tone sounds like. Um, I'll walk through... Um, again, I'll do some different variations on the pickups so you can hear what those sound like too. <laughs> 
pretty loud um the amp by the way if i haven't pointed out yet um the previous owner of this amp put one of those old labels on it and named the amp big fat paul and i can't think of a more appropriate name for this amp because the, that tone through the mic it might sound a little bit different but in person just sitting in front of the cab here it is a fat tone um so it's perfectly named as far as i'm concerned now I want to throw the Tube Screamer in front of the boost channel there. Um, the way I have it set is I have the gain knob on the Tube Screamer just barely turned on at all. So that I get just a little bit more fizz, not a lot though. And then I have the tone knob turned all the way up and then dial that back just a little bit too. So that way um, I get a little bit more of a fizzy but still some harmonic tone was over the top of it. So I think running it this way is one of the most balanced out ways that I've heard it um, so far. Um, I used to have that gain knob turned all the way up, but it would just feed back so much. And I think this way just uh, controls it a little bit better. So let's do boost channel and then boost on the tube screamer. Here we go. <laughs> So I, uh, I was just messing around with this amp today and figured I wanted to walk through it and see what the sounds I could get out of it just by um, messing around with it. I haven't had a ton of time since I got this a couple months ago to really sit down and play with it. That way I just found some stock settings on the uh, internet to play around with. But I think that's what I'm sticking with for now. If you have any other recommendations for it, um, let me know. I'm more than happy to check them out. And I hope you enjoyed the tones. Um, I know my playing's not that great in shape right now, but uh, I hope more importantly, you enjoyed the amp, you enjoyed looking at it just like I do every day. It's a classic, and uh, I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks.